Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve exercise in the chapter 4, problem 5. In the circuit of figure 4.35, determine the current labeled I. So I is here. And then with the assistance of nodal analysis. Nodal analysis meaning that we use KCL for its nodes. Right? So maybe let's first assume the direction of the current. For the current source, we we just follow the arrow of the current source. So this is going up, then going to the right, right? And this also going down here. And for the resistor here, I will assume that the current is going down. And this resistor here, I will assume also the current is going down. And now let's do KCL at V1 and then let's do KVL, KCL at V2. So the first one, maybe let's do KCL at V1. What does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The sum of the currents that goes in is for this not here. There is only one current that goes in, which is 5. Okay. And then that will equal to this current and this current is going out. So this current here will be V1 minus, this is the reference or the ground, so minus 0 divided by the resistance between them, which is 1 plus this current here. Similarly, we have V1 here, V2 here, so V1 minus V2 and then divided by 5. Okay, V1 minus 0 will be V1. V1 divided by 1 will be V1. So I'll have 5 is equal to V1 plus V1 minus V2 divided by 5. So maybe to get rid of the denominator, denominator, I will multiply both sides by 5. So here I will have 25 and this one will be 5 V1. And this fraction will cancel each other. So I will have V1 minus V2. So I will have 6 V1 minus V2 is equal to 25. Let's have this as equation number 1. Okay, now let's do KCL at V2. KCL at V2. We have similar the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The only currents that goes in is this one and that current is V1 minus V2 divided by 5. And this current here is going out. So I will have equal sign here and then I have V2 minus 0 divided by 2 plus this current here which is 4. Okay now to get rid of the 5 and 2 probably I will multiply both sides by 10. So I will have this one 5 and 10 will cancel into 2 so I will have 2 v1 minus 2 v2 in the left hand side and then on the right hand side I will have this, this is V2 over 2, and 2 and 10 will cancel into 5, so I will have 5 V2. And that will equal to, not equal, plus this, 4 multiplied by 10, that will be 40. And let's move this v, 5 V2 to the left hand side, so I will have 2 V1 minus 7 V2 is equal to 40 and let's have this as equation number two okay now you can do Kramer's method you can do substitution and elimination you can do anything to solve this system of equation maybe I will just use a simple elimination so I will let equation number one as is so I will have 6 v1 minus v2 is equal to 25 but I will multiply equation number 2 by 3. Why? Because 2 multiplied by 3 will be 6. And that 6 V1 will cancel each other. So I'll have minus 
21v2 and then this will be 120 so we can subtract this out yeah 6v1 will cancel and then minus v2 plus 21 minus 1 plus 20 will be minus 1 plus 21 will be 20 so we'll have 20 v2 and then this one here i will have 25 minus 120 that will be minus minus what minus 95 yeah i think minus 95 yeah i think so and so i will have v2 is equal to let's do this minus 25 I mean minus 95 divided by 20 minus 4.75 and the unit will be 4 and for v1 we plug this v2 into v1 let's do that so I will have 2 v1 minus 7 multiplied by minus 4.75 75 will be 40 and i will have 2 v1 minus and minus becomes plus and what does that number result 7 multiplied by 4.75 that will be 33.25 and that will equal to 40 so i will have 2 v1 will be 40 minus that number 40 minus 33.25 and we need to divide that by two letter right so i will have 6.75 so i will have v1 is equal to this is divided by two 3.375 3.3754 okay this is i think v1 and v2 but the question is not about v1 and v2 but that is about the current i okay now we need to calculate that so i is just v1 minus v2 divided by 5 V1 will be minus 4.75. Uh, I mean V1. This, this value is for V2. V1, what is V1? V1 is just 3.375. Then minus, this number will become plus. So we'll have 4.75 divided by 5. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's take the calculator. So I will have 3.375 plus 4.75 and all of that will divide it by 5. And I will have 1.625. 1 and the unit will be ampere. So the final answer is I is equal to 1.625 ampere hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation and thank you for watching bye bye